hello students today we will discuss uh, a topic from power electronics and the name of the topic is half wave control converter half wave control converter now as you all know this is a ac to dc converter this is a ac to dc converter but the basic difference between this converter and the rectifier is that this is a control converter uh, the meaning of the word control means we can control the output voltage we can control the output voltage by means of by means of firing angle so by changing the firing angle of the ecr i can change the output voltage and therefore it is called as controlled converter so basically it is ac to dc just like a rectifier okay but the difference is that the output can be controlled so what is the circuit diagram how it looks like so basically there is a transformer single phase transformer okay to this i am applying an ac supply so here i am applying single phase ac supply and the output of this transformer is a step down so this is step down transformer this is step down transformer and here what i am doing i am connecting my scr you all know this is the symbol of scr and here i am connecting load and the load is a resistive load this is a resistive load r type of load okay now this scr is initially in the off state although it is forward bias during the positive half cycle since there is no gate signal this scr is in the off state so when a gate signal is provided when a pulsating gate signal is provided to the gate terminal this is a gate terminal this is anode and this is cathode of the scr so when gate pulse is provided and when anode and anode of the scr is more positive that means scr is in the forward bias condition then only scr conducts is allowed it allows current to flow through so if i want to draw the waveforms if i am interested in drawing the waveforms let's say this is my ac input signal this is my ac signal okay let's say this is plus vm and let's say this is minus v and suppose the getting signal appears <coughs> at let's say <clears throat> 30 degrees okay so 30 degree may be somewhere here okay suppose here my get pulse appears again here my get pulse appears okay again here my get pulse appears so if get pulse appears like this okay then scr gets turned on at this point so this point is called as firing angle so at this point scr gets turned on so up till this point my scr is in the off state so there is no output current and therefore there is no output voltage so moment gate pulse is provided the scr starts conducting it is a closed switch and current starts flowing from the, uh, the secondary terminal of the transformer to the load okay and therefore output current and output voltage will be something like this so if i am interested in plotting the current so at this point till this point there is no current till this point there is no current but from this point onward current starts uh, picking up and current increases as uh, voltage increases and current goes on decreasing as voltage decreases so it follows the exact wave shape as that of the input now from this point onwards the gate pulse is available but since the scr is reverse bias from this point onwards see this is 0 to pi and from pi to 2 pi 
the shear is reverse bias because there is a negative voltage this voltage is negative voltage appearing across the shear this is negative and this is positive so shear is reverse bias so shear remains off so there is no question of conduction so from this point to this point there is zero output voltage okay and again from this point onwards at this point again second gate pulse come and my shear starts conducting so this is this is the nature of current this is the nature of current and if i am further extend my waveforms uh, to draw uh, the output voltage then output voltage will be very easy if i draw the output voltage across this resistor okay this is no output voltage if i plot this then till this point till this point there is no output voltage okay till this point there is no output voltage so till this point uh, at resistor the output voltage is zero but from this point onwards the output voltage starts developing and till this point it is zero so current and voltage waveforms are exactly like same each other or they are exactly similar with each other okay so from zero to alpha there is no conduction from alpha to pi there is conduction and from pi to 2 pi there is no conduction okay so this zero to alpha period this here is off this here is off and this is called as the firing angle alpha is called as the firing angle or gating angle okay so from alpha to pi is called as the conduction angle is called as the conduction angle okay now let us quickly we will show this simulation in proteus and we will try to understand how this circuit works so let us come back to the proteus here uh, i lead one is here so i will select components from the library so let us select components so first i will need uh, scr so i will type scr so switching device you select the generic generic one okay and you click on this then i need a supply ac supply so i will use v sign okay and then i will double click this okay source will be open then i will require to uh, one register so i will select that also and that's all this is my requirement now i will open my or i will pick up this sign source then i will pick up scr and i will put it here okay then i will put my uh, resistance and i will keep it here okay the value i will keep it as it is and now i will just make the connections okay so let's connect all the points very clearly and <clears throat> now i need a ground point so i will connect my ground terminal here so pick up a ground point and connect this ground point here as well so i have connected a ground point now <clears throat> next thing is i need uh, probes so i will pick up a probes I am picking up probes. First is the voltage probe. I am placing this voltage probe here. Then I required current to flow through this. So that's why I put a current probe here. Now uh, to make this SCR on, I need a triggering source. So for that, I will select a pulse. So I will select this pulse. I'm sorry. I will select this pulse and i will apply it here let me zoom it a little bit and now i apply this to the scr again i will pick up a probe i will put a current get current i am interested in and i am interested in the output voltage so now my connections and everything is over now I need to set the values. So I will set the value of this amplitude since I want to display 
amplitude little bit more i will select uh, 500 volts okay and let's select only two cycles of uh, uh, ac supply so that it can be very clearly visualized and then click on ok now click on this dc power uh, pulse generator uh, and uh, name uh, or change few parameters so here uh, you set this start time as let's say 50 millisecond then pulse width let's say i want 10 percent uh, pulse on time okay and frequency again is matching to that my input source so input is my two hertz so therefore this frequency is also two hertz click ok now my job is over i made a few graphs to plot so that's why <coughs> what i will do i will select an analog graph mode in proteus and then i will plot this graph in so let me select this so this is my first graph then this is my second graph i want to plot three parameters three four parameters so that's why i choose three separate different graphs so let me select it again and i will redraw it All right now uh, the thing is that i need to carry these probes voltages and put it over there so i will select this and i will place it here so input voltage and corresponding to that i will need input gate current so i will uh, in the first graph i will observe <coughs> input voltage and input uh, gate current okay then in the second graph i will observe the input current uh, or the current flowing through the circuit so that's why i put the second probe uh, parameters in the second window and lastly i want to see the output voltage which is nothing but the voltage across scr so i will pick up this probe and i will put it here okay so these are the uh, my graphs now i just want to run this simulation so for that just right click on this and simply simulate the graph you observe uh, that uh, this is a sinusoidal signal of 500 volt uh, is appearing input so you are clearly you can clearly see this this amplitude of this ac signal is 0 to 500 volt which is my input ac supply and this is my getting signal which is appearing exactly at 50 milliseconds starting from zero and i have uh, such two cycles ac two cycles and getting signals are also two cycles okay so this is my first part simulation then second is i will simulate this graph also this is my current as i have shown uh, as i increase uh, <coughs> uh, the getting signal to 50 millisecond my get pulse starts at 50 milliseconds and therefore uh, i will be able to observe the graph at this point so you can see clearly this point this point is uh, uh, a triggering point or is the firing angle so at this point i will be able to observe the firing angle very clearly and from this point onwards scr starts conducting and therefore i will observe this entire current now during this negative half the scr is reverse bias and therefore there is zero output voltage across the load and the last part now which uh, i am interested in is the voltage across scr since the probe is connected here i will i will be plotting this voltage and this voltage is nothing but the voltage across SCR because I am measuring all the voltages with respective ground. So this voltage U1A is nothing but the output voltage across SCR. This is not the voltage across resistance. So understand these things very clearly. So if I run this simulation, I will be observing. Yes, it is very clearly. If I subtract this waveform from this input waveform, I will be able to observe the voltage drop across SCR. So during this portion from 0 to this firing angle, uh, whatever the voltage that is appearing across SCR. So during this portion SCR is off. So from this firing angle alpha on, but still this point uh, SCR is in the on condition and then there, there is no voltage drop across SCR. There is a zero voltage drop and from zero uh, from pi to 2 pi uh, SCR is totally is in the off state and therefore total output voltage negative output voltage is appearing across SCR since it is in the reverse bias mode and again the cycle repeats 
so this is a complete simulation of single phase half wave control rectifier okay so with this uh, visual simula simulation it is very clearly uh, understood that scr currents uh, scr conducts only during the positive half cycle when get signal is available and during negative half cycle since it is reverse bias it will not conduct in the next session i will explain you uh, the same uh, circuit operation for the inductive load okay so thank you very much